we are going to be talking about how we might link up our recognition, awareness of the penta that is rave through a person who can communicate. So if the rave is actually going to be able to emerge in the sense that it finds its life through viable conscious penta, there is no way a human being, as we understand what a human being is in this day and age, is going to be able to communicate with them in the sense of understanding the other species that is not our own. We are a very different species as far as the tools and hardware from a rave. But the way that there is a potential to make a bridge between us and them is to educate people enough to where we can find someone who is willing to be that bridge. Now, pentas follow alphas. Pentas follow alphas. Alphas are what makes the difference. This whole thing about what a penta is going to express as an awareness. Remember, pentas follow alphas. So this is what makes the penta ultimately through a wa, the alpha being able to guide the wa, and then ultimately wa's coming together to form gene pools. We finally have a capacity to maintain and grow as a species. Isn't that an interesting dynamic? So there's an OC16. Here's one penta. You put three pentas together, you get a, a group of 10 to 16 people, and you add them together and you get wa. So pentas follow alphas. Alphas are in charge of controlling or dictating or managing or guiding pentas. So pentas accept the direction of alphas. All right. So now, Human pentas are guided by human alphas, as we've learned, rave pentas by rave alphas. And a rave alpha will not be able to guide or control a human penta. That human penta and rave penta are not going to mix, just like the components don't mix, the pentas don't mix. Mm -hmm. So then a rave alpha will not be able to guide or control a human penta. Human alpha could not guide or control the rave penta. So how are we going to have a happy medium? These special bridging ones who can communicate being human, they can communicate with the rave penta. And that is the right angle cross of laws born post 2027. And they have to be right, as in quad right. Okay, so that's the prerequisites in order that we find somebody who can act as a bridge between us and them. Right angle cross of laws, born 2027 and beyond, and a quad right. They are the only ones who can act as a conduit through which the communication between human penta and rave penta can actually take place. So if we think about a right-oriented cross of laws, let's say they're working in a hospital environment, they come into the room as themselves, part of what is a human penta, because that's going to be the only way to approach these creatures. So even if they are this kind of human, they won't be able to approach them singularly. It won't work as far as the communion with penta. So it's penta to penta. The right angle cross of laws are the only translators that will exist. These are humans. This is a very special gift bestowed on them, very unique, because they're the only translators that will be capable of connecting a human penta with a rave penta. It will give them a rather unique role in the future of whatever the relationship may be between our species and the one that emerges. So it really has to be right for them to do this work. If you think about, um, I was watching a show in 17, 1620, when English learned, a few of them, not all of them obviously, learned Indian and the translators were in control of how the conversation went because there is no way to communicate except through a translator. So similarly, these are the people upon whom their shoulders rest the responsibility of being able to translate this information from human to rave penta and back again. Isn't that interesting?